Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For all of you guys that don't know me, I'm Mina. Very, very nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. I am a certified life and relationship coach for all of you guys that are new. So welcome. So today's topic that I wanted to cover is off of a coaching call that I had just this morning with a young lady who was about 25 years old. Um, she was interested in what to look out for when dating a single dad. Okay, so this is the first situation, first time situation for her. She's 25 years old. She's dating a single dad. He's 30. He's got two kids, a five and a seven year old um, with a, from a previous marriage. Um, that's divorced and that's been done with for a while now. Um, and she just wanted to know, like, what, what am I looking for when I see him with his kids? When he, you know, he brings them around me, when, you know, when he spends time with them, when he doesn't spend time with them, like, the, you know, what do I look for? Okay. So I thought this was a good topic to bring up because I think that this happens to a, a lot of people. Um, fortunately it does happen to a lot of people where children are involved and they're eventually introduced to somebody else, um, you know, or their, their mom or their dad. And, you know, that's a lot to take on being a, the kids, being the parent, and then being this new person that's in their life now. Okay. Typically, as you guys know that the kids usually stay with the mom. Okay. And this situation is a little bit different because they're actually with the dad. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's the woman that's being, you know, introduced to these children or never being introduced to the woman, vice versa. Okay. So I thought it was a good topic to bring up because again, this happens a lot, okay? So um, there's actually a lot to look out for. I have a lot to look out for, okay? Um, on both ends, both the man and the woman, whether it's, your, it's the man that's introducing the kids to his new partner, or if it's the woman introducing the kids to her new partner eventually down the line, let's hope, okay? Um, and there's a lot. There's a lot of things you should be paying attention to, okay? Personally, um, I think that you find out a lot about the person, okay, by just spending some time with them, okay? If they have kids and you know it, spend some time with them and see how much are they talking about their kids, you know? How much time do they say, do they say for now that they are investing in kids, you know? Did they go out this last weekend? Did they do stuff together? Did this person, you know, buy stuff for them? Did they spend time with them? Those are big things. If it's very, it's crickets, he's not telling you anything because he's not doing anything. There's something there. There's something you have to pay attention to. So spend some time and just listen to what he tells you when he's not with his kids. Let's say it's it's the mom's weekend and they're over there. You know, does, does he tell you about how the whole week went with them? You know, what they did or you know, what they love to do and, and what something and something about their personality and something that you know he loves about them and how they're doing in school and how they you know. How, what makes them laugh and what makes them cry. Those things are important, okay? That says a lot. That sets like a, um, just a foundation on, on his relationship with these kids, okay? <clears throat> you want to also make sure that you know, spend some time in this area, okay? And make sure you know that this person is willing to want to be a father, Make sure you spend that. Like, if he's spending all of the time with you, as much as you could like that, as much as you love that, why isn't he spending it with his kids? Make sure you take your time in that area, okay? There should be a schedule in place for his kids, and then you, my friend, come second. You don't come first to his kids. He's putting you above his kids, there's already a problem there. If he's just on call the time for you, there's already a problem there. Because there should be a schedule in place for his kids, okay? Those will always come first no matter what. And if you're a woman that doesn't understand that, you should be dating a, a single father to begin with. Vice versa, same thing for a guy. If you think you should come before her kids, you're, you're dating the wrong woman because that's not going to happen, okay? And if somebody's willing to put you first before their kids, they shouldn't be dating to begin with or having kids, okay? So that's an area you want to spend time with, you know, to find out that do they have like a set schedule in place, you know, and does he follow that schedule? Does he respect that schedule, okay? Like, does he take it seriously? Well, what does he do with the kids? Does he, you know, is he... 
Is he able to provide for them? Okay, that tells you a lot of, you know, does he invest invest in them? Besides the typical child support, we got that, but you know, does he go out and buy school supplies for them? Does he, you know, when, when they're over his house or when they're visiting or whatever the situation is, you know, is he able to make sure that they're fed, that they're, they have clothes, that they have a roof over their head, or is he, you know, is he struggling in that area? That is very important. That says a lot about him. You know, that's that says a lot about him. So if he's out, you know, if he's not able to provide that, but he's out at bars or at clubs with friends, spending money there, but not for his kids, that says a lot, you know? So is he able to do that? Those are just your, those are your basics. Those are the basics. There's nothing, there's nothing, you know, wowing about that. Those are basic. He should be able to cover that. Okay. You got to make sure that he has a great <clears throat> relationship with the kids. How is he with the kids? You know, again, if he told you that, oh, you know, my kids are great. They, they, they did well with my other three, four girlfriends. How many girlfriends is he introducing um, his kids to? Is he taking that part seriously? You know, I personally don't think that kids, um, your dating life and, and the kids should be mixed together. Uh, when you're ready, like legit ready to be with somebody, that's when you should start introducing them to the kids. Like, and I mean serious, you're serious with them. Like you see you two getting married, not oh because I'm dating somebody. It just... It sets a tone. I'll make another video for this as well, for what the kids go through, okay? That we don't think about. The kids, that, that kid's part, okay? And I also put in another personal video after this one regarding dating um, single fathers. That I think will be a good one to share, given that these two will work together on a personal level as well. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure, yeah, you want to make sure that all of those areas are met they're just met okay you want to make sure that they have a great relationship that you know they obviously um they know one another they're not just there and just hanging out because oh they're hanging out it's their time to hang out they come over and he's on a computer watching tv while the kids play alone no there's bigger things than that you know do they have a good relationship does he invest his, his time into them? Does he want to spend time with them? Or is it just, you know, they're dropped off in, to his house and he drops him off at his mom's house and goes about his business or going, goes and hangs out with you or his friends? Big, big red flags. I think that at the very, very least, it should be a clear-cut thing that his kids come before everything, literally everything, including you. And again, if you're a person that that would offend you, you have no business being with a single parent, mother or father, because that should be known. Like I would not even invest an ounce of my time with somebody that would put me before his kids. There's just no way. If I saw that happening, I would have been like, oh man, no, there's no way. There's no way. Because that's important to me. Like, to me, you need to have your priorities straight. Like, yeah, I'm important, but I'm not more important than your kids. I mean, that's just common sense. It'd be crazy to think otherwise. Okay? So, see, it seems that the guy has his ducks in a row. Like, he, he, yeah, he knows they come first, you know? He's able to financially provide. But that's outside of that, you know, the whole whatever he pays monthly. But when they're over his house, he's able to, you know, feed them. He's, he's able to put clothes on their back, a roof over their head. He's able to communicate with them. They have like a like a good relationship. They're able to talk, not talk like strangers. And obviously, I know situations are different all around, but you know, at that age, obviously it's much different than when we are teenagers. So you wanna have all this. You wanna have this comfort level between the kids. And also pay attention to his previous relationship slash marriage. How does he talk about the mom? talk about the mom in front of the kids you know, is this something that he talks to you privately about you know and i'm not saying that all marriages end and you know all you guys shake hands and just go about your business and say i'll see you later thanks for everything there's ones that end really badly there's relationships that end really badly it's understandable there's a way to handle it if you're talking this or this way around about the mom of your kids in front of your kids that sets a tone that says a lot about you Another thing is when you, when he, if he starts talking 
nothing but negative stuff about the mom to you. Like as if you're there to be his therapist. That's a different tone as well. It's it's something you have to pay attention to. Now, again, this does happen. They're not always going to be great relationships. They are friends afterwards. Understandable. But there's got to be boundaries there. There's got to be a filter there. You know, he could tell you, hey, you know, this, 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 and that happen. And unfortunately, because of that, this didn't work out. Versus calling her the name in the book and saying, you know, she's taking all your money. And I don't know, you know, she's trying to take your kids away. And dad has red flags written all over. Why would you want to be with somebody who has that much to say about you? What if you're in, in her place one day? You know, look at it that way. There's always two sides to every story. It's another way of looking at it. Those are the things you want to pay attention to, okay? And again, it's not for you to judge, but at the same time, it's for you to just open up your eyes and see, do I want to get involved with somebody like that, okay? He has at least, at the very least, have some respect. Because he loves his kids. At the very least, basic respect for the mom. Enough to not talk about her. He's got his own feelings. That, like, in a negative way like that in front of you, let alone his kids. This is a lot. Having, them having a great relationship also sets a great tone. Now, it may not be great, even if it's good. There's going to be ones that are obviously not meant to be talking, communicating. So I'm not saying by all means that if he doesn't talk to her, he's a horrible person. No, but what happens after he no longer is talking to her and he closes that door and the kids leave or the kids come in? How is this attitude then? That says a lot about him. Okay, um, there's just a lot to look for. There are there are so many things. Those are just the basics, you know, basics. And I think that says a lot about his character. Vice versa, same thing would happen for a woman. But I, I think I'll make a separate video for that as well. Um, and I mentioned it before in my previous video. Those are big things to look for. You know, involving yourself with kids. It's not just some sort of a game thing you could just check out whenever. When you decide, the way I look at it is if you decide to be with somebody who has children, you better know that this is you're taking on a huge responsibility. I'm not saying that you're covering them financially, although I know different you know situations are handled differently. Um, everybody's situation is different, but know that when you when you involve yourself you're in there that's gonna be somebody that those kids look up to or that kid looks up to it's not a joke you know you don't want to be one another one just another person that checks out when they're just tired of it because they can because technically that's not their kid it's not it's not healthy for anybody you know so off the bat that person shouldn't be introducing you to these kids that soon to begin with okay once they do, this, they decide to, that means most likely it's serious. If they are introducing you like day two, that's already a red flag. They hold off and introduce you because they think, hey, you know what? I see something here. Know that when you do walk in, walk in there knowing that this is a real thing. These are lives. These are these are kids' lives. This, this is now your life that's involved. This is you know, their parent, kid's parent that the guy's mom or the girl, depending on you know, who you are dating. Like, this is for real now, you know, take it seriously. Don't look at it as a game because it's not. You know, kids shouldn't be looking at, you know, their moms or dads, you know, partners coming in and out like a revolving door. You know, make sure you're in it and you're in it because you want to be in it and you're ready for something like that. But make all your judgments, technically, because you have to, based off how he is around them, how he is when he's not around them. What does he say? What does he do? How is he when he's around those kids? You know, How does he communicate? How do they communicate with him? That will tell you. You just sit there and you watch for a little while and will tell you all you need to know. All you need to know. Their comfort level alone will tell you a lot. So I think that there's absolutely nothing wrong. Nothing wrong from both ends. Dating. I mean, me, my personal opinion. Because I've been there and I've done that dating somebody who does have kids but know that when, you, when you're in there take it as seriously as you would you know if you introduce your kids to someone okay you'd want them to take it seriously not just you know check out whenever they feel like it so um but yeah definitely just sit there and just watch for a little while and you'll be surprised how much you learn you know and maybe that will tell you all you need to know before you know you decide to take the next step and the next step and get more serious with this person, you know, versus getting in there, getting thrown in there, thinking you're ready and you're not. And you're like, yeah, you know what? These are my kids. It doesn't even matter. I'll just leave. You know, I'm just, it, it does affect everybody's lives. Believe me when I tell you that. So 
you don't want to be one of those. <laughs> so yeah, just know that. Um, nothing wrong with that idea. I think, you know, it happens more often than you know, we would like it to happen. So make sure that when you are in there, go in there comfortably if you're ready for something like that. And um, make sure that that person who's the dad of those kids is as ready as you are. So it'll definitely save you guys a lot of drama and time down the line. I will tell you that so that you guys both are on the same page, you know, know what he's looking for when he's, when he's, you know, telling you about this and then when he's saying, hey, you know what, by the way, I do have these two kids or I have this child, you know, that he's confident with you being there and he's confident in his own shoes. He's not. And he's just tagging you along. What is that going to do? You know? So if you guys go in there, you prepare to walk in there as a team, you know, to be introduced to these kids and to be able to be in their kids' lives without, you know, damaging anybody in there. So um, just my, you know, thoughts and feelings about that. I could definitely sit on here. I just realized this is like 15, 16 minutes already as a video. I could probably sit here for another hour and talk about this, but I won't. I eventually make another video about um, the moms introducing their kids to um, the boyfriend um, or husband I've, I've had quite a quite a lot of different calls and some some surprise me more than others so but I'll get to that and I'll, I'll follow up with a personal story so you guys get that as well um because I do have a personal one of dating somebody who had kids so I would love to share that with you guys so be on the lookout for that probably tomorrow's video um or the next day and yeah let me know what you guys think make sure you like subscribe um, comment below. Let me know what you guys want to hear, what you want me to talk about, share, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.